for Rhonda, two things. Uh, you know, obviously, I want God to show up. I want God to show up and 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 heal her, because uh, there's lots of pieces that are involved in that. Um, she's her her heart. I've already shared that she's sweet and tender and loves to care for people. She could she could be kind of like a Mother Teresa in our neighborhood and loving on the little kids that are in our neighborhood and caring for people. So I'd love for her to him to raise her up. Um, but if he chooses not to at this juncture, that he would give her joy. That Because joy transcends the difficulty. Um, and so that healing and joy, and perhaps both. <laughs> so the... Um, for your for your city and your town and this region, um, I would pray for two two things again. Um, you know, one would be uh, that in the midst of the heartache, because there's heartache everywhere, that that the, that you that you as individuals would be dependent upon God, that you would see your dependency, and that, that, that you would be, n n uh, I'm going to mess up the word, but nestling up close, nestling up close, kind of huddling up next to Jesus, because he is the hope of this region, and your church and, and, your, and this, the churches of this community are, are, are touching the community in a way that they haven't ever, because there's never been anything like this. So that you would feel your dependency and you would, you would, you would cuddle up close to the Savior uh, because people are going to feel that when you're with them. Um, and the, the other is that, that, they, that the people of this community would feel the presence of, of God in this tragedy and that, that there would be hope. Um, the verse that I would, I would leave with you outside of the other ones I've already shared, is a verse that I just got, came back to just yesterday, is Romans 12, 12. And it says something like this. It's a very short verse. I'm trying to commit it to memory, but started yesterday. The uh, rejoicing in hope, uh, perse persevering in affliction, and constant in prayer. It's, it's, it's a it's a that we have hope because we have God. You want the community to have hope. Um, you want them to persevere in the affliction that they've been that that has happened. And but you, but you want to come at it with a constant, faithful, fervent prayer. Um, and those three together create wholeness. That that as long as we have God, we don't we have hope. And and we can persevere in affliction um, when we have hope because that pulls us through. And then the third would be that we would be constantly dependent upon him in prayer. So that 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 twelve twelve, Romans twelve twelve.